Hello everyone, I'm Dancer Boy and today I'm going to talk about one of the weirdest mammals that are alive today. It's called the echidna. The echidna is a mammal belonging to the family of Tachyglossidae. The echidna or spiny anteater is an unusual mammal. It's so different from any other that it still riddles researchers and scientists. The echidna has remained unchanged since the prehistoric times. Finding ways to survive while other species became extinct. But what really sets the echidna apart from other mammals? Well, female echidnas lay eggs like a platypus. A platypus is also an egg-laying mammal. Egg-laying mammals are called monotremes. There are only five monotremes in the world, four echidna species and one platypus species. The echidna is found throughout Australia, Tasmania and New Guinea, from the highlands to the deserts to the forests. It's a solitary creature and minds its own business. The echidna may be active during the day, evening or both, depending on the season and food sources. The echidna has a tiny face with small eyes and a long nose, sometimes called a beak. The eyes don't help the echidna see well, but its acute sense of hearing and smell give this unusual mammal the information it needs to know to survive. The short-beaked echidna has dark fur almost completely hidden by a covering of hollow, barbless quills called spines on its back and sides. The long-beaked echidnas have little fur and more visible spines. The beige and black spines on all four species, which are about 2 inches or 5 centimeters long. These spines also camouflage the echidna in the encounter. The echidna's short legs are perfect for digging. The hind legs point backwards with an extra long claw on the second toe that can be used to comb or scratch out dirt and bugs that get stuck between the echidna's spines. Its powerful front feet can dig straight down into the earth. The claws on its front feet are also useful for shredding open termite mounds. When it digs for protection other than fires and drought, the main threats to slow-moving echidna are feral dogs and cats as well as dingoes and foxes. Cars also kill hundreds of these animals each year on the roadways of Australia. The echidna has three options when faced with danger. Run away on its short, stubby legs, dig or curl up. The echidna's digging ability is usually its best bet. Some say it can dig a hole just as fast as a human using a shovel. The echidna digs straight into the dirt until only a spiny rear end can be seen which makes it almost impossible for a predator to grab and pull it out. It can also protect itself by curling up into a tight spiky ball hiding its face and feet like an armadillo. Surprisingly, the echidna is an excellent swimmer and a tree climber too. Okay everyone, that's the end of part 1. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and like. And hopefully next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.